This discussion is about how to bring star power from the heavens down here to be gleefully, easily, and willfully used on Earth. We discussed in another post that black holes are thermodynamic phenomena, not gravitational phenomena. And if you take a look at the ignorance of physics, you'll understand that they like to blow stuff up instead of assemble stuff up, okay? The Earth isn't about, not the Earth, the universe is not about blowing stuff up. It's about remixing, remanufacturing, creative, continuous creation. It's what the universe is about. That purpose is for life support. And just as a tangent, the reason war exists is because no one is focused on the purpose of the humankind. Autonomous human relationships and terrestrial peace are and can be the same if all involved learn to be kind. The power source of Wakanda in modern day, if that be Haiti, would be star power from the heavens, but not the collaboration and fusion of hydrogen like is done in the sun, but simply by the gentle use of thermodynamics that are emulated by so many of the creatures on Earth. If you take a look at gopher holes and you take a look at termite mines, they're able to air condition in the hottest deserts the interior of termite mounds and keep them 72, 73 degrees, somewhere in that area. And even when it's cold outside, maintain the same temperatures. These antenna systems, these thermodynamic Thermal coax has a broad range of thermodynamic ranges here. And as you can see, gravity, elevation, diameter, porousness of water, flow of air fluids, or whatever, all accounted for in these basic diagrams here. This is the modern infrastructure you will use to unleash star like thermodynamic power on Earth using red energy, regenerative energy design. You are able to go in and you're able to take the vibrations and the powers of the planet and torque them to balance and make considerate use of the energy flows about them. Haiti is and can be the new Wakanda if you simply apply star power to get it done.